the future of warfare is here. Deviating from the conventional warfare strategy, the United States is testing a totally different weapon, Tesla's latest invention. This weapon is one that is lethal enough to knock out a rival in a matter of seconds and regardless of the distance. As the world continues to evolve in the technological aspect, the need to possess formidable weapons that would make the enemy think twice before launching an attack is of great essence and thanks to this terrifying laser weapon system, the U.S. has maintained its stance as a formidable force amongst all nations, especially to its closest rival. How does the Tesla laser system work? What impact would this weapon have in the world of modern warfare? Join us as we delve into the terrifying and yet intriguing details of the Tesla laser system that the United States is testing. The United States Navy is currently in the process of testing the first ever laser weapon system, which was inspired by Nikola Tesla's work and uses directed energy as a weapon. Interestingly, Tesla's work is not limited to the development of aerial vehicles alone. He has also looked into lasers, but found that they spread out over distance, just like this new weapon does. If you want to know the depth of Tesla's involvement in the defense sector, stick around to find out. Tesla tried something different and made a defense weapon using tiny particles, which he referred to as the particle beam. This was like a continuation of his work with high-frequency energy. After he made sparks, as long as a hundred feet in his lab tests, he wanted to control and aim this energy as a weapon. He suggested a device that could charge small or big particles to millions of volts and shoot these highly charged particles through the air to take down lots of enemy aircraft. The Tesla weapon would cause more damage compared to just heating up the target. It uses particle beams that carry weight along with high-energy light. Another reason why it's considered as an extremely lethal weapon is that while just one laser can cause significant damage, Tesla's laser is made of several lasers put together. This weapon combines many fiber laser pieces to make one strong, good quality beam. Right now, it's just a test version, but Tesla plans to make it bigger, up to 60 kilowatts. This 60 kilowatt version was proposed to be ready by 2022 and will be installed on a modified army truck, turning the laser into a movable weapon. If multiple fiber lasers are used, it could go up to 500 kilowatts, which is considered very powerful. At this rate, bullets would become obsolete, and all that would be needed is a strong power supply, because laser beams move very fast. This would definitely give an upper hand to any nation in possession of this technology, especially in battles. Tanks, aircrafts, and even the most formidable ships do not stand a chance against the penetrative gleam of the laser system. However, the main purpose of the weapon is to protect rather than attack. The laser can protect itself against small rockets, shells, and drones, even if they're about a mile away. The Navy plans to use the laser system for precise and secret missions, starting fires, and what it calls graduated lethality. It also sees it as a way to defend against UAV missiles and groups of small boats. The laser also has a big advantage because it doesn't need bullets or explosives and can keep shooting as long as there's power. Plus, each shot costs very little, less than a dollar, compared to the huge cost of firing a missile. This shows how useful it can be. However, since actual combat involving aircraft is rare in naval operations, the laser system will likely be used more often for non-lethal purposes, which are just as important. The way Tesla designs the beams makes them great for aiming, and the laser can also heat up targets, making it easier for infrared trackers to lock onto them. Additionally, the laser can blind pilots and disrupt electronics on aircraft, surface vehicles, or submarines. Electro-optical sensors and infrared missile systems are especially vulnerable to this. The laser also serves as a modern version of a warning shot by shining a bright light beam to let the target know that a deadly attack could follow immediately. One big challenge is to make sure the system can handle different weather conditions like fog, rain, and airborne particles, 
which can weaken the power and range of the infrared laser beam. Weather can affect any kind of optical weapon system. Moreover, the system can follow fast-moving targets that change direction quickly and its beams travel at the speed of light. Unlike missile systems that need to be reloaded, a laser can be fired again and again as long as there's enough power from the truck and the weapon can cool down between shots. But despite its advantages, lasers have limits. For instance, it takes time to aim at a target and move to the next one, so the system might struggle if there are too many targets. Also, lasers don't work well in every situation or against every target, so they need to be used with another weapon that can attack multiple targets at once. The deployment is partly to show off the technology, but it's also part of the process of testing and developing it further. We need to work on things like mounting the laser, making the hardware tougher for different environments, dealing with turbulence in the air, and figuring out how to use the laser for tasks that aren't meant to be lethal. Creating a laser strong enough to destroy a mortar shell from a mile away is a big challenge for engineers. They do it using a method called spectral beam combination. This means they mix many smaller laser beams together to make one powerful beam, rather than using just one laser. It's like when a prism splits white light into different colors. High-power lasers do the opposite, combining beams of different energies into one strong beam. In the past 10 years, the development of laser weapons has increased because of the growing threat of armed drones and short-range mortar or rocket attacks. These projectiles can't easily be stopped with advanced methods like jamming or redirection. Also, rockets or mortars hit their targets quickly. Even though the first laser system cost $32 million, in the long run, it will become much more affordable. In today's changing world where threats are evolving quickly, laser weapons are becoming more appealing. For example, the U.S. Navy is working on a program called Helios, which plans to install laser weapons on a DDG Arleigh Burke class destroyer. The Air Force is testing the high-energy laser weapon system made by Raytheon Space and Airborne Systems to stop enemy drones. The U.S. Army is also active, Recent tests of a 50-kilowatt laser show progress in their goal to use lasers in future battles, where they currently lack short-range air defense. They are also looking at the adverse environmental impact of laser systems and are actively working on solutions that would reduce the effect. A laser's wavelength can be adjusted preferentially to work better in different weather conditions and use adaptive optics to deal with turbulence in the air. Safety is also a concern. If a laser beam misses its target, it could cause damage to untargeted ships, planes, or satellites. So, the developers are constantly improving safety measures and rules for using this new kind of weapon. All branches of the U.S. military have experimented with lasers, but those based on chemical lasers, such as the Airborne Laser, which is an aircraft-mounted anti-ballistic missile weapon, and a tactical high-energy laser, which targets artillery rockets, are abandoned partly because of the huge power supply needed, one that required six trucks to transport, in the case of the former. But a modern truck is able to generate a lot of electricity, more than enough to power a laser weapon. The United States is already looking at the possible countermeasures its lasers will meet, like drones and boats with very shiny laser-reflecting surfaces or novel heat-absorbing materials that dissipate heat very quickly. Rocket artillery and mortar laser weapons now increase Army air and missile defense capability while reducing total system life cycle cost through reduced logistical demand. However, a similar technology that is already operational is Russia's Perezvet. The Perezvet, which was named after Alexander Perezvet, is a laser weapon that was developed in Russia. The weapon is designed for defending against attacks from any type of threats in the air and also for fighting against satellites. It belongs to one of six new strategic weapons that was earlier revealed by Russian President Vladimir Putin on March 1, 2018. As of May 2022, there are reportedly five units of this weapon being used. 
Vladimir Putin first revealed this system to the public when he mentioned its existence during a speech to the Federal Assembly on March 1, 2018. The Russian armed forces started using these systems in 2017. On December 1, 2018, the Parisvet laser system began its first combat testing. President Putin, on a later date, mentioned that the laser systems were expected to be fully in use by December 2019. The system has been set up with mobile launchers for intercontinental ballistic missiles that would be used to protect their movements. Also, Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu announced on December 1, 2019, that the Parisvet system was being used by five divisions of the Strategic Missile Forces. Military expert Igor Korochenko, who leads the Center for Analysis of the Global Arms Trade, says the Parisvet laser weapon can effectively target and destroy unmanned aerial vehicles. However, similar to the Tesla laser weapon, its performance also depends on the weather. It works best in clear conditions, but struggles with its effectiveness in fog, rain, or snow. He also pointed out the fact that these systems use a lot of electricity, so it's unlikely they can be easily carried around. Instead, they might be used to protect military bases and other areas from UAVs in the future. In May 2022, during the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Russian Deputy Prime Minister Yuri Borisov said that a newer version of the Parisvet laser weapon, called Zadira, is now being used by Russian military units in Ukraine. Borisov claimed that this version can burn targets up to three miles away in just five seconds. Furthermore, he explained that if Parisvet blinds an object, the new generation of laser weapons physically destroys the target. It is burned up. He also mentioned that the system can blind enemy satellites in orbits up to 1,500 kilometers away by using lasers to disable them as they pass by. However, the Pentagon, the United States military headquarters, said they haven't seen any proof to support Borisov's claims, and the existence of such technology can be questioned. Also, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky dismissed Russian claims and passed it off as political propaganda, comparing them to the Wunderwaffen myth from World War II. Aside from the new laser system that was developed by Tesla, Nikola has invented his fair share of technology in the defense sector. In 1917, he suggested a submarine tracking device and showed it was possible to find submarines using electromagnetic waves. At that time, people didn't believe him, but by the 1930s, radars emerged, which do similar things, helping locate things in the air, on the ground, and underwater efficiently. However, most of Tesla's ideas stayed on paper during his life, and maybe that is a good thing, considering the fact that evidence has suggested that he worked on secret weapons that can destroy the world in a matter of seconds. Many mysteries surround Tesla and his inventions, one of which involves a disaster that scientists still cannot explain till date. On June 13, 1908, there was a huge explosion that rocked the remote part of Siberia. It's thought to have been as powerful as more than 20 million tons of TNT. People who saw it said it looked like a second sun appeared in the sky, moving very fast until it exploded 17 kilometers above the ground. The explosion was so big that it was felt and heard all over the world. It destroyed a huge area of forest, about 2,000 kilometers wide, and millions of trees. To explain how enormous the explosion was perceived, the sound was heard about 800 kilometers away from the point of detonation, and people that were 60 kilometers away said the ground shook. There were also loud noises like thunder and the sky was full of lightning. The explosion was way stronger than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Even people in the United Kingdom felt the tremor in the ground. In the days after the explosion, strange clouds were seen in the sky across the northern hemisphere, and at night, it was as bright as day. This event remains unexplainable, and today, there are more than 100 theories about what caused the explosion, and some connected the event to Nikola Tesla and his experiments. People also mentioned that an event that is quite similar happened when this inventor was experimenting with his Wardenclyffe Tower, 
which created bright flashes in the sky. Also, Tesla has always been interested in transmitting electricity wirelessly. He started planning his tower in 1898 and began building it three years later, but it was never completed because it was said that he ran out of money to further the project. However, some people believe that he kept experimenting with it until 1808. It was also rumored that the invention was not only designed for peaceful purposes, because in Tesla's interview with the New York Times, he argued that his experimental wireless electricity transmission units has the ability to destroy any area on Earth, turning it into a lifeless desert. The Tunguska event probably happened without Tesla's interference. Otherwise, the military would have definitely investigated it right away. Or perhaps this is exactly why it happened. Since there's another legend, according to which the scientists' latest works were used in the so-called Philadelphia Experiment. Another bizarre event happened on October 28, 1943, when the USS Eldridge that was stationed at the Philadelphia Naval Shipyard supposedly disappeared all of a sudden. Almost immediately after that, it was seen in Norfolk. It was almost impossible for such an event to have actually happened. It. The only source of information on the Philadelphia experiment was an ex-merchant mariner, Carl M. Allen, who claimed to have witnessed it. But there's also a hypothesis that from 1936 to 1942, Nikola Tesla was in charge of Project Rainbow, a predecessor of stealth, the modern low observable technology. The program included the development of geometric forms and radiation-absorbent materials that could decrease a machine's radar cross-section. The project was top secret and was supposed to be abandoned, but they conducted the experiment after his death. Both the Tunguska event and the Philadelphia experiment are surrounded by lots of myths, making it quite hard to prove Tesla's involvement in them. However, we have genuine evidence that the scientists worked on developing various sorts of deadly weapons. Nikola objects, given a sufficient amount of tiny oscillations, could even shake and destroy a large structure. Tesla continued upgrading it until 1989. However, not a single design survived. According to one version of events, working at his New York lab on Houston Street, one day, Tesla heard an indistinct low-frequency hum from the outside. The building's walls trembled, and window panes shattered. The event quickly spread to neighboring streets, and terrified people began running out of their homes. The inventor mentioned that it was supposed to cause massive tidal waves that could easily crash whole enemy fleets. These artificial tsunamis were aimed at making warships absolutely useless. Tesla was also sure that one could control the weather on the planet. He believed that by using certain radio waves, you could manipulate Earth's magnetic field in the ionosphere, controlling wind and consequently the weather. He received many patents for those ideas and ostensibly proved that what he was talking about actually worked, the large lights and how the ionosphere interacts with the powerful electromagnetic field, but it quickly gained a reputation as a project that could control the weather in natural disasters. The series followers blamed the harp for the 2004 horrific earthquake in the Indian Ocean. Back then, the disaster affected almost 200,000 people. However, even these projects can't be considered Tesla's most dangerous weapon because on July 11, 1934, the New York Sun and the New York Times mentioned the scientists' new highly destructive invention, capable of having a great distance. By the inventor's plan, its tip had to send energy clusters of enormous power that could ground a fleet of 10,000 enemy aircraft from over 300 kilometers away. The press called them peace rays and death rays at the same time. Tesla himself claimed the teleforce wasn't merely an idea on paper. He said he'd been working on the cannon from 1900, and it had been ostensibly built and even tested. That same year, Tesla wrote a treatise on the weapon running on charged particle beam dynamics. In 1895, Tesla discovered that magnetic fields could significantly influence time and space, changing their very structure. Rumors even say that, thanks to creating an artificial magnetic field, 
he opened a window to another dimension in which he simultaneously saw the past, the present, and the future. Tesla's innovations in the defense sector are indeed renowned and very powerful, but with the right precaution, his latest invention, the laser system, would cause more good than harm in modern warfare. Thanks for watching. While you're still here, click on the link appearing on your screen to watch another of our interesting videos. See you there.